Now, the real world AI and AI taking over the world is pretty far off, but you can get a voice agent in your kitchen right now, right? So how many people have an Amazon Alexa? Okay. It's, it's really fascinating, and it's this kind of intimate thing. T Tim O'Reilly wrote this great post, What Would Alexa Do?, uh, where he talks about some of the points of interacting with these conversational agents. Um, but it, it enables you to augment your workflow and to do things like set timers, call an Uber, uh, ask facts in Wikipedia, things that you are doing in a, in a safe zone where you can interact with voice in your home. Now, that's interesting in the home or in a private setting, but in the workplace, how we've been communicating is changing as well. So in the last five years, we've seen this increasing shift towards messaging as a, a, a primary way that we communicate in the consumer world, but also in the workplace. How many people are using Slack? How many people are in Slack right now? Okay, that's a good number. So it, it's really interesting, and it's not all Slack. So email is still very dominant. Um, and for external communication, at, at my own company, we use email quite a bit. We use Slack heavily internally. Um, but really, what you're seeing is this rise of messaging within the enterprise. Uh, and it's, it's, it, it, it really just follows the consumerization of, the, of enterprise software we've been seeing for a number of years. Uh, but the interesting thing is, in a message, the, what happened was uh, we had this notion of her and bot-like interfaces happening via audio conversation. And as we move towards conversational interfaces and software in the workplace, uh, bots and AI have really been mapped onto that. So I think that's why we're seeing this bot explosion. You've got advances in AI, you have the rapid adoption of messaging, and you have the sci-fi promise. So all those things together uh, give you this, <laughs> which is, is pretty far off from the movie Her, but it's really interesting because it feels like we're at the early days of the web in some ways.